सो हेलो लर्नर्स वेलकम टू द आई आई टी मद्रास स्टूडेंट कम्युनिटी चैनल टूडे वील बी सॉल्विंग द आई आई टी एम ग्रेडेड असाइनमेंट बट बिफोर दैट सब्सक्राइब अस एंड ज्वाइन आवर चैनल टू गेट फुल एक्सेस एंड ऑल आवर लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स सो नाउ लेट्स बिगिन Greetings everybody. In this video, we will be solving the graded assignment of computational thinking week two, and this is the first part of the graded assignment week two video. Let us start this assignment. The following procedure counts the number of students from Bangalore whose total marks are less than average total marks. That is, he or she must be from Bangalore plus total less than average total, which is given here. This is the combined statement, and the second statement is that it stores it in variable a. Therefore, this particular set of students who satisfy the condition one will be represented numerically using the variable called a. The programmer may have made some mistakes. Identify them. Step one: It's not having a mistake because it is just a consideration of pile of students. Step two: Initialize variable a to zero. A should be zero because a is something which which is storing a number. Therefore, it's not a mistake. Step three: If pile one is empty, then stop the iteration. That's also right. Step four: Read the top card in pile one because without reading, we cannot. Assign some some value, right? Therefore, it's also it's also not a mistake. If x dot city town is Bangalore, and x dot total is greater than average t, this is where the first mistake is. Therefore, step number five is a mistake because it should have been less than, but here it is given greater than. Therefore, step five can be selected as one of the answers immediately. And now. Checking for step six, move the current card to pile two and repeat from step two. See here, step two, it is initializing a to zero, and without returning the value that has been updated several times, we are resetting the value. We are resetting the value to zero without returning it to the user. Therefore, the user will constantly keep on getting the answer to be zero only, which is a mistake. Therefore, step number six is also a mistake. Hence, the correct answers are A and B, which are representing the wrong steps. And now, coming to the step question number two. At the end of execution, given procedure on scores data set, what will A and B represent? Let us do check them as well. Maintain or arrange all cards. Maintain two variables. A to one zero one and B to zero. Let me write it down very perfectly as well. Now if pile one is empty, stop the iteration. Read the top card in pile one. See, this is the core part of the question. If A is greater than chemistry marks, then store the chemistry marks in A. That is. Let us solve this while reading the question itself. One out one is greater than ninety-five, right? Therefore, A becomes ninety-five. And now coming to B. If B is less than mathematics marks, if zero is less than ninety-three, definitely it is less than ninety-three. And what are we doing here? Store mathematics marks in B. Therefore, B becomes 93 directly. And now coming to the second iteration. Move the current card to pile two and repeat from step three, which is this. And now coming to 95 and 93 are done. Let's forget about them. Is 90 greater than? Sorry, is 95 uh, greater than 90? Yes. Therefore, A becomes 
and now coming to B is 93 less than 90 no therefore B remains to be 93 only whereas A A becomes 90 and now coming to the third final card 87 and 78 is 90 greater than 87 yes therefore A becomes 87 and now coming to mathematics mark which is stored in B if 78 sorry if 93 is less than 78 no it's not less than therefore b remains to be 93 only whereas a is 87 so from this observation or from the result which is taken from an example what can we conclude regarding answer 87 it is the least in chemistry whereas 93 it is the highest in chemistry therefore sorry 93 is the highest in mathematics therefore a is something which is the lowest marks in chemistry and highest marks in mathematics. Hence, A is the correct answer of question number 2. Now coming to question number 3. The following procedure took data from scores data set and let me highlight this. A represents the number of male students whose physics marks are less than the average mathematics marks not average only mathematics marks but equal to their chemistry marks. The programmer may have made mistakes in one or more steps. Identify all such steps if any. So here the given information is that A represents male students whose physics is less than mathematics but equal to their chemistry. Once again, the key points I am telling you, A stores the number of male students, remember this, whose physics marks are less than mathematics. This is first condition, whereas second condition is uh, having equal, equal marks in both physics and chemistry. Both of these are, co are a combined statement. So. The programmer may have made mistakes in one or more steps. Identify all such steps if any. Arrange all cards in a single pile called pile 1. Initialize variable a to 1. This is a mistake because a is something which has to be set to be 0 because we, we can only take a value called 1 if there exists at least one student, right? That is not mentioned in the question. Therefore, step 2 is a mistake. a should, a should be 0, not 1. Step 3, if pile 1 is empty, stop the iteration. This is perfect. Step 4 is also right. Step 5, re if gender is male, this is ok up to here. If physics marks equal to mathematics marks and chemistry, this, this is inverted. Therefore, step 5 is also a mistake. Therefore, step 5 is also a mistake. it should be physics mark equal to chemistry mark and mathematics mark greater than physics mark that's what has to be in step 5 but it is inverted as, as said just now now let us uh, see step 6 move the current card to pile 2 and repeat from step 3 this is also perfect statement therefore again the correct answers are A and B Now coming to question number 4. 
at the end of execution what will a represent arrange all cards in single file called pile 1 maintain two variables a comma b a is set to 1000 and b is set to 0 if pile 1 is empty stop the iteration green top card in pile 1 add letter count to variable b therefore b stores what b is a variable which stores the letter count of a word if word does not end with a full stop then execute step number 9 if word ends with a full stop and b less than a that is what is the meaning of if word ends with a full stop that means if that is the end of a sentence so in that case what does b store b stores the total number of letters present in a sentence right and it is being compared that if b is less than a this criteria will finally give you the least value present in the data set if we take 1 2 and 3 as an example is uh, 1 less than 2 yes is 2 less than 3 yes therefore 1 is also less than 3 this returns 1 as value the same concept happens here as well there from there we can tell that the length of shortest sentence based on it is not number of words it is number of letters right because in the question we were given information that add letter count to variable b therefore the answer must also be associated with letter count only assume that a b c this is the fifth question a b c are three distinct integers what will x represent at the end of execution of following procedure x is a variable with value 0 if a less than b go to step 4 let us take any three examples of a b c which are 1 2 3 if a less than b yes a is less than b go to step 4 what is happening in step 4 if a less than c then store a in x yes 1 is also less than 3 then store a in x therefore what is what are we storing x x has the least value in the in the in the considered example x has a, x is having 1 which is the least value in the considered example if it is not less than c then it must be what it must be the second highest right so what are we being asked what will x represent here x represented 1 that is smallest among a b and c with this we are ending the part 1 video of the of the concerned uh, ga meet you all in the next part of video please do like share and subscribe the channel